With your typical pair of glasses, whether it's sunglasses or eyeglasses, they can be broken in just a matter of seconds, whether they're being stepped on or just dropped. However, Google Glass is really a game changer as it's made out of high quality materials such as titanium and just a new kind of technology that allows these to be a lot more durable. How does the hardware fare? Let's go ahead and take a look. So just as a disclaimer here, we will not be going over the video and camera side of things on Google Glass because I did a separate video on there and annotation can be found on your screen right now, as well as a link can be found right below the like button on this video. Overall, I was quite impressed for this being kind of a first type technology. So up first is the bone conducting speaker. So what this does is it kind of vibrates bones within your noggin and it produces a noise. Keep in mind here, this isn't too remarkable and the sound quality isn't the greatest, but it's it's good enough to where if you're in a quiet area, you can go ahead and hear it. But if you're in a public area, chances are you're just going to hear mumbling in your ear. So up next is the microphone. So the microphone on this is absolutely remarkable. It was able to pick up things that I truly did not think it could pick up because, you know, Google Voice recognition wasn't able to pick it up on past smartphones, but this was able to pick up specific people's names, specific destinations, and overall, it really integrates within my life nicely. Furthermore, the biggest controversy with Google Glass is the battery life. Up to testing within two weeks, I was able to receive around five hours with moderate use and then up to three hours with heavy use. Pretty good. Again, you can always use a standard charger that you can go ahead and plug in and you can actually use this whilst charging. Here is where you you can see the build quality being phenomenal. I'm actually tugging at the titanium band here, and it's holding together pretty well. Also keep in mind the nose pieces here are titanium, so you can go ahead and bend them, and they encouraged us to bend them at the fitting in New York. Uh, and I just gotta say, these can fit a variety of heads, so do not worry, unless you got a big head, or you got a little head like an infant. So finally, how does the screen look? From what I can see now, it's clear you can see it. Being able to adjust the physical pivot of it is nice because you can find that perfect angle. So here I just do a few commands like OK Glass, record a video. You can see this setup that I'm currently doing now. Uh, keep in mind it's a bit laggy here. This is because it's screencasting over Bluetooth, but on the physical unit itself, you do not see this and it looks absolutely flawless. So to wrap up this hardware review here, this is how it looks using Google Glass. You kind of look like you're staring off into space a little. And you just Again, you just have to get used to it and people will adjust. Thank you guys so much for watching this hardware review of Google Glass. If you guys enjoyed this video, go and swallow the like button as it helps the channel out tons. And also subscribe for more Google Glass content. Thanks again. Bye-bye.